Hi, welcome to uh, subnetting video 30, VLSM How To. I know this is a lot of videos, but I'm taking it in little baby steps here so that you can have lots of practice and, and lots of uh, different uh, uh, steps that, uh, that you can understand clearly and easily. Many people do it in one or two videos, and I don't like that because uh, it's just harder to follow. So first of all, let's review how we did regular subnetting. We had something maybe like this, a network 172.16.0.0, and we needed 100 and at least 150 hosts. That's the highest one here. So at least 150 hosts per network. And here we needed one network, two networks, three networks, four networks. So I needed four networks, and I just said, well, I'll just divide it up so that I can get 150. Well, in order to do that, you'll remember we uh, just chose... Uh, which one do we need to get at least 150 hosts? So we would look up here to uh, I can get 126 there. Oh, I can get 254 here. So now I can get my at least 150 per uh, subnet. So I'll just choose the slash 24. Well, if I choose the slash 24, that means that I will increment by one. I go up to find that increment, and then I go over to find the octet that I'm going to increment in. I'm going to increment by one in the third octet. So first of all, I'll just fill in my subnet numbers here like this, and then I'll begin uh, filling in my networks. Now, of course, the first network we know is going to be 172.16.0.0, and now I'm going to increment by one in the third octet. So 172.16.1.0, one more in the third octet, 2.0, another one in the third octet, 3.0. All right, so now I know all of my network addresses. Now, usually I did one more, and that's for accounting purposes, so I get this broadcast address. So we'll go one more. Now I can begin to fill in my broadcast addresses. If this is 4.0, the one before that would be 3.255, so let's put that here. 3.0, the one before that would be 2.255, so we'll put that there. 2.0, well, the one before that would be 1.255, so we'll put that there. And 1.0, well, the one before that would be 0 0.255, so we'll just put that there. Now we can just begin filling these in. It doesn't really matter which order we do them. Uh, let's see, we'll take the, uh, we'll take the first address, so 172.16.0.0. The first address is 172.16.0.1, so we'll just fill that in. Uh, 1.0 would be 1.1, 1 .1. 2.0 would be 2.1, 3.0 would be 3.1, very good. Now we can do the last, 0.255, the one before that, excuse me, would be 0.254. The one before 1.255 would be 1.254. Before 2.255 would be 2.254, so we'll put that there. And the one before 3.255 is 3.254. There we go. And we don't need this thing anymore. Let's get rid of that. Finally, we would put our subnet masks in here. And we chose the slash 24, which is the same as zero. Uh, excuse me, 255.255.255.255 in the... Uh, uh, third, excuse me, 255.255.255.0, .255 .255 because it's 255 in the third octet, right, 255, we look up here to get the, the um, number of the last uh, one, and then, uh, then we look across, because we chose 24, so we look across to find out what octet we're, we're going to put that number in, so let's go ahead and put our 255, 255, 255, 0, this is 255 in the third octet here we look up to get the 255 we look over to find out which one we're in because our interesting uh, column is this one right here all right so it's 255 all the way down because we made all these the same size so we can just put 255 all the way down well that's how we did it and now we have our our network but again this is rather wasteful what we want to do is to use this vlsm in order to, or use this table I should say in order to do some VLSM and do different size networks so let's find out how to do that 
First of all, we see that we need the following network sizes. We need a 120, we need a 150 up here, we need a 25 down here, and we need a little 2 right here. Well, the first step in doing this is we got to put these in the right order because we always, and this is a very, very important point, you always start with the largest and work your way to the smallest. So let's um, uh, put these in order. Uh, and then uh, one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a column here to keep track uh, of the increment sizes that I'm going to uh, use because I'm going to increment these by different increments each time. So uh, let's uh, move ahead and see what happens. Uh, if I put these in order here, 150, 120, 25, and 2. 150, 120, 25, 2. I just put them in descending order. And now I can begin to fill in my, uh, su my uh, subnets. But I think what I'll do is start here with uh, looking at the increment if I have a 150. And as you can already see, I put up here 1 in the third. Let's see why. I needed 150. Well, I went across here and I said, what do I need to do? I can't get 150 out of that. But I can get 150 out of this. So again, I'm in the 24 network, just like we were in the previous example. In order to do 24, I would do 1. And again, I look up here to find out what the increment is. And I look across to find out which octet. 1 in the third octet. So 1 in the third octet. Well, let's first of all put our network number in here. And then I'm going to increment by 1 in the third octet. So let's do that. 1 in the third octet. Okay, so far so good. But now the next one is this 120. <clears throat> in order to get 120, I'm going to, again, look across here. and I'm going to go, let's see, I can get 14 here, 30 here, 62 here, 120. Ah, I can get 126 here. So this time, for this subnet right here, I'm going to use this column. And in this column, I will increment 128. Since this is the column I'm working with right now, 128 in the fourth octet. 128 in the fourth octet. All right, see there again. Um, <clears throat> always identify the column that you're working with. Once you identify the column, in this case, this one, then everything you do relates to this, to that octet. Now, down here, I was in this column. Even though I was pulling stuff from up here, this was the column I was working in. And so I was doing everything in the third octet, as you can see here. But now I'm working in this column, so I'm going to do everything in the fourth octet. So I'm going to increment by 128 in the fourth octet. Well, that would be 172.16.1.128. Very good. <clears throat> For our third subnet here, third subnet we need 25. So let's go across here until we can get 25. Right here. Now I'm working in this column. Since I'm working in this column here, um, I can uh, say, well, I'm going to increment 32 in the fourth octet. Remember this top row here is the increments. 32 in the fourth octet. So let's put that in, and let's do that increment 128 plus 32 in the fourth octet would give us 160. So far, so good. We only need one more network now, and that one needs two. Well, I can't get it here. I can't get it here because I have to subtract two, but I can get it here. So if I, get, if I use this column here, I can get uh, an increment of four in the fourth octet. So let's do four in the fourth octet. And if we do four in the fourth octet here, well, I don't quite have room, but I'll just stick it in here. I would get 172.16.1.164. 1, this is, again, this method automatically gives me this little thing I need for accounting for broadcast address purposes. So here, uh, the last address, uh, the last network is 1.164, so the broadcast address would be 1.163. Here it's 1.160, so the broadcast would be 1.159. Here it's 1.128, so it would be 
and here it's 1.0, so that would be 0 0.255. So there they are. <clears throat> now I can fill these in. Let's start with the last addresses first. 0 0.255, one before it is 0 0.254. 1.127, well, the one before that would be 1.126. 1 1.159, the one before that would be 1.158. 1 1.163, the one before it is 1.162. How about the first addresses? 0, .0 well, 0 .1. 1 .0, 1.0, well, 0.1. 1.0, 1.1. 1.128, 1.129. 1.129, 1 1.161. So here we go. And you notice, by the way, we only have two addresses here, 161 and, one, uh, 161 and 162, that we can put on these two hosts right here. And we don't need this guy anymore. Let's get rid of that. <clears throat> the very last thing we need here are the subnet masks. Now, I really should have filled this in as I was going, but I didn't. And so we'll have to go back and kind of try to remember what we did or use this as a key we did one uh, we incremented by one in the third one in the third octet here so we were using this call we were using the slash 24 so this was a slash 24. <clears throat> over here we did 128 in the fourth so we were doing a one uh, 128 in the fourth would give us a slash 25 here over here we did a 32 in the fourth, so we were here in this column. We were doing a 32, uh, so we were slash 32 in the fourth, so we were a slash 27 here. And this one, uh, this is two address. Two addresses are always going to be slash 30. Uh, we'll use an increment of four here, four in the fourth octet. So slash 30 was the one we did there. Now, if you wish, we could use the actual subnet masks here. 255, 255, 255, zero. That would be this one. 250 and this one here would be well what 128 in the fourth so 255 255 255 128 uh, a 27 is here a 224 in the fourth so 255 255 255 224 and then finally the 30 which puts us here as a 252 in the fourth octet so 255 255 255 252 and that's it. We have now subnetted this thing uh, with different subnet masks. But by doing so, we now can serve addresses and we have enough for everything. And that's how we do it. We'll see you in the next video uh, where we'll do maybe a little bit more practice on this.